Here we have a 2008 BMW 118D Sport 5 door hatchback in red. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth you're looking at easily a good 4 to 5 millimetres there. Looking at the offside front alloys, you can see it got a little bit of a curb mark on the outside edge of the alloy there. Look around the rest of the alloy, it does look pretty clean, so only a minor little refurb to the top of the alloy there. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down there. There's a small dink on the driver's door and a small dink on the rear door. They're very light, so should have no real issue with those. Around the offside front arch, again, lovely clean condition. Driver's mirror, again, just a bit of a stone chip there, requires a touching. A bit of a touching there as well, and a bit of a scratch. That will also require a polish. A couple of chips around the door edge require some touchings. And the door edge, again, just a couple of touchings down there. Driver's door itself there looks very clean. Uh, no real sign of anything serious to report. Sills are fine, nothing at all to report on the roof. Rear passenger door again, a couple of little nicks in the paintwork, as you can see, they're all very minor. So just one or two little touchings there. No real sign of any scratches. Again, a little touching of paint there. Rear arch, rear quarter, lovely and clean, no signs of any damage. And the rear tyre, again a good 4mm there. Looking on the rear alloy, really nice clean condition. There's a minor little scuff towards the bottom, it's very light though as you can see. No real sign of any heavy curbing. Moving towards the rear end of the car. Looking at the back of the vehicle, really nice condition, no signs of... Uh, it was quite, actually, it's quite a, a good sized indentation there. So a good dent in the uh, rear bumper. As you can see it is very deep and it's a good size as well. So just be wary of that. That's obviously going to require some work. A couple of light scratches on the loading bay just require a bit of a polish. Inside the boot of the vehicle. I did think the car was open fully. So we'll just open up the boot properly. There we go. Parcel shelf in there. Nice condition. Just requires a little bit of valet as you can see, but no spare wheel with the BMW either. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. Again, we're looking at a good 4 to 5 mil. Looking on the rear alloy. Again, nothing at all on there, nice condition. And then moving around down to the near side of the car. Can't see any dinks or dents around there. Again, paintwork looks nice. Door edge is fine. A couple of little nicks there on the front door edge. And a bit of a polish required on both doors, so you've got some light scratches. Bit of paint needed on the passenger mirror, as you can see there is a deep scratch there. Front arch is in nice condition, and about 4 to 5 mil on the front tyre. Front alloy, no sign of any curbing or scuff marks at all there. And then moving around to the front end of the vehicle. A couple of light stone chips on the front just requires some touch-ins, no signs of any damage, and then just some stone chips on the bonnet of the car. So that's the exterior of the vehicle. Inside with the full cloth interior, and as you can see it's in a lovely clean condition, really nice, doesn't look like they've been used much to be honest, there's no sign of any damage. Back of the seats and door panels are all lovely and clean, even the carpets and mats are spotless as well. Taking a look at your driver's seat, there's a little bit of uh, wearing there on the driver's bolster. They are the sports seats though, so you can adjust the bolsters down there. Front passenger seat's also in a nice condition. Inside the centre console and dashboard's very clean, gear stick and steering wheel are in nice condition as well. Inside, as you can see, we've got two sets of keys with the vehicle. I'm just looking at the display whilst I start the car. As you can see, the key battery is a bit low. Starts of the vehicle, uh, you've got a little warning symbol there as well, just be wary of that. 5,000 miles to its next service, according to the car. Again, you can see there's a warning light there as well. Um, 56,204 miles on the clock, so very low mileage. And as you can see, I've got way over half a tank in the car, and the car does seem to run very nicely. CD and radio, no issues at all. With a sound, that works perfectly fine. Blowers work fine, air conditioning does come out nice and cold as well. Taking a look at your documents now, looking at your V5, we're looking at one owner on the vehicle, so only one owner, which is brilliant. MOT certificate, we are looking at 17th of October 2016, so plenty left on the MOT, not till the end of the year really, and full BMW service history just to top it off. So 15,000 there, 30,000 in the next service, and if we try not to skip a page, Sorry about this. There we go, your last one done at 44,000 miles. And like the car said, it's around 5,000, 4 to 5,000 miles to its next service. A full BM history with a car. That's a lovely 2008 BMW 118D Sport in red. And a nice looking car with low mileage and full BM history.